four more confirmed cases of the coronavirus have been discovered. There are now 440 confirmed cases. But the outbreak started in Wuhan. The virus can be spread through human contact. Hello, my name is Leonie Dash and this is my documentary of life in isolation. You may ask, what is COVID-19? Well, COVID-19 is a new illness that can affect your lungs and airways. It's caused by a form of coronavirus. The most common symptoms of COVID-19 is tiredness, fever and a dry cough. When I recorded this part of the video, I had been in isolation for a month. A month without seeing anybody, except for my mum, my dad and my son. In person. Who I could actually hug, kiss and everything like that. I'm pregnant. I can't even see my boyfriend who wasn't able to go to the scan or anything like that. This is horrible. I think it's worse than anyone ever expected. I just wish it was over. Here's some interviews from people to show you what they are going through. How has COVID-19 impacted your well-being? I can't remember that. It isn't. It's... I think it's a strain, it's staying in all the time and it's not going out to see my family and family not coming here to see me. It's it's quite hard really. I find it hard. Uh, what has been the worst part of this? <sighs> like I said, not see my family and uh, losing a friend. I can't go to a funeral. It's, there's a lot of things really, but it's mostly being lonely all the time, I suppose, really. Has anything positive come out of it for you? Yeah, that's a matter of fact, that's really, because losing a friend, a close friend of mine, people, I see why people should stay in there, because losing a friend is one thing, but I can't imagine losing a, a family member. And not be able to come and see him and all the rest of now. Only thing is, like I said, make sure you appreciate what you've got. That's about the only thing. And do you have a message that you want to send out? Yeah, stay in. Like I said, you can lose a friend, but losing a family will be twice as bad. So stay in and stay safe. And um, the other thing I like to say, talk about it, is the NHS. I think they all should be knighted because the frontliners put their they're putting their lives on the risk for us. So help them and help a lot. Give money if you have to, but help them because they need it. And they're great. So that was my granddad, and unfortunately, he lost a friend during this pandemic. To this pandemic. I don't know what it would be like to like lose a friend like my granddad and sugar that was his name they had known each other for 75 years imagine losing someone do what my granddad says everyone stay home stay safe on Thursday 26th of March 2020 history was made from everywhere in the UK, people would come out of their homes or open their windows or doors to clap for the NHS and carers on the front line, trying to help people with COVID-19. Every Thursday since then, at 8pm, people would go out and clap, getting louder and louder each week.
How has COVID-19 impacted your well-being? Um, lucky question at the minute. Um, it's definitely affected my mental health a lot more than I anticipated it would. Um, I thought this amount of time off would be like super wonderful and really, really good for me. And in some respects it has been, um, but I'm now hitting a wall with it all. I sort of like my mindset's very, I'm done with this. I want to be working. I want to be active. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm quite separate from all my friends and my colleagues up here because I live sort of a bit further out of the city. Um, so in terms of like my mental well-being, I've not been that maybe I'm wanting to spend more time doing or prioritizing certain things that I wouldn't prioritize before, like my well-being, like my health, um, you know, more time with the partner and things. So, you know, it's it's had its good things and it's had its bad things for sure. What has been the worst part of this? Um, the lack of social contact like face to face actually being with people that's majorly affected me um you know technology is great i can see people face to face ring people and whatnot but it's really not the same and you know the only person i see is my partner which is lovely because you know we before this we never got quality time so that's been really really nice I know you said already, but has anything positive come out of it for you? Um, so definitely in terms of, uh, you know, time with my partner and getting my priorities straight in terms of like what really matters, spending more time with him, um, sort of taking more time for myself and taking care of myself, saying that. I've been eating like nobody's business and gaining weight and not getting the exercise that I need every day. <laughs> so <laughs> in some respects, actually, maybe I'm not taking as good care of myself. Um, but also I've been doing my singing videos every single day and that's been really good for like upping my confidence, challenging my voice, keeping my singing voice sort of up um, and doing that and sort of finding more of a following online which is really nice because I want to do sort of more singing as like a career sort of moving forward. So that, so that's been really good. I've enjoyed that. And uh, last question. Do you have a message that you want to send out? Um, mainly uh, be kind and be thinking of others in this time. So as you can see, we've made history. We've come together to, for the better, but we don't know how long this is going to last for. But all people can do is stay home, stay safe, save lives. Thank you, everyone. This has been Leonie Dash. Mm -hmm.